Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a thank you card in Canva. First thing we need to do is log into our Clever account. Once we get into Clever, we need to go to this top right hand search bar up here and we need to type in Canva. That's going to be spelled C-A-N-V-A. Canva looks just like this with this sort of turquoise teal with this scripty type. We can go ahead and click on Canva single sign on. And it's going to take us to the home page that looks like this. Once we get here, we're going to go up to where it says templates. And we're going to go down to where it says card. Once we get to our card templates, we're simply going to go down to where it says thank you. Once we get into our thank you card templates, we can see that we have tons of starting options here. So you can feel free to pick any one of these. Some of them are seasonal. Some of them are um, definitely more themed for certain events. So make sure that you're being thoughtful on uh, which template you choose. I really like this one up at the top here. Once you select your template theme, you're going to click this teal bar here that says use this template. Now Canva's done a really good job at making this easy to use with our templates. I'm going to show you how to change the name. So dear you, I'm going to make this dear, let's say, Mr. Frecker. And instead of from Randy, I want Mr. Frecker to know that this is from Mr. Malloy. And there we go. So now we have a base for our um, thank you card here. Now let's say we want to spice it up a little bit with some maybe some icons of things. What we'll do is we'll go over to where it says elements here. And as we scroll through here, we see we have all sorts of different um, icons and stickers that we can throw in here. So I'm going to choose just a random one of these here. Let's see here. I'll grab this little icon here. And I'm just going to drag him into my workspace. Now notice how he's white and black. Let's say I want him to match the colors that I have in my template already. What I'll do is I'll make sure that he's selected with this box around him. And I'm going to go up to these black and white boxes up here. So these are the two colors that are being used in this icon. I'm going to click on my black and I'm actually going to change it to the color blue of the background here. So I've changed the color of this inside to match the background of my card. And then everything that's white, I'm actually going to turn orange. And so now my character maybe stands out a little bit more. Now let's say I want it to be the opposite. I can do that as well. And I can just switch these colors around here. So then I can have a new little icon here. Now if you feel free to play around with all these other ones. There's tons of different options here. You know, if you want, there's these different doctor um, stickers that we can add, different coronavirus related stickers. There's also some fun kind of rustic um, icons that we can use and maybe some more floral patterns. And feel free to play around with just copying and pasting these into here. If you want double, you can just hit Command C, Command V, and that will make you an extra one. Now let's also say you didn't mean to do that. You can also hit um, Control Z or Command Z and that will undo it for you. Now let's say once you've gotten your card to be the way that you want, what you're going to do is go up to uh, where you see this download arrow here. And we'll click that download. Now see where it says print PDF? We'll leave it as print PDF and then we'll click download. Once we've downloaded our thank you card, what we're going to do is click and drag that to our desktop. Next, what you're going to do is open up your Gmail account and we're going to compose a new message and we can send this to 
Malloy M at CPS doe.k12.oh.us and for your subject what you'll do is you'll type in thank you card then what you'll do is you'll just click and drag your file of your thank you card into your gmail and then click send 